Hello there, senior high school students. Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 11 learners! Sa video na ito ay itutuloy natin ang tungkol sa compound interest, activity 2.2 ng inyong mga module. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung 2.1, i-click nyo na lang sa card or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Alright, so disclaimer lang mga anak, papalitan ko yung mga ibang given dito upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa modules ninyo. Okay? Number 1. Find the value of the required components in each item. Number one, find the compound interest. So, and maturity value if P is equal to 43,000 pesos with a rate of 6% is compounded semi-annually for 6 years. So, identify natin yung mga given. 43,000 pesos. Then, ang rate naman is 6%. So, i-convert muna natin siya sa decimal form. Move two places to the left. 1, 2. Magiging 0 0.06. And then, ang um, N natin, semi-annually. Kapag semi-annually, ano yung ulit yon? That is equal to positive 2. At ang um, time naman natin is equal to 6 years. Okay? Kailangan muna natin hanapin yung maturity value bago natin isolve yung compound interest. Kasi kailangan natin ng maturity value to solve compound interest. So, ito yung gagamitin nating formula. Yung A is the same lang din sa future value or maturity value. Basta ang formula na gagamitin natin ay ito. So, future value is equal to P times 1 plus rate over N raised to the power of n times t. By substitution, that would be equal to 43,000 pesos. Multiply it by 1 plus, ang rate natin is 0 0.06 over, ang n naman is 2, raised to the power of 2 times 6. We will have 43,000 pesos. Then, isolve natin ito using our calculator. So 0 0.06 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.03. Then, i-add ko na sa 1. That would be equal to 1.03. 1.03 raised to the power of 2 times 6 equals 12. Then, 1.03 raised to 12 is equal to 1.43. 1.43. By showing your solution, ilagay nyo lang na 1.43 muna. Pero, ang ilalagay natin, itediretso natin siyang isolve kasi mag-iiba yung sagot kapag hindi nyo nilagay lahat yung value. Then, itediretso nyo na siyang i-multiply sa 43,000 pesos. So, that would be equal to 61,307.72. So, this is the future value. Ito yung future value natin. Ngayon, para naman makuha yung compound interest, so the formula for compound interest is equal to future value minus the present value. So that is equal to yung nakuha natin na 61,307.72 pesos. Subtract natin yung present value na 43,000 pesos. So using our calculator, minus natin yung 43 thousand pesos eighteen thousand three hundred seven point seventy two okay na so this is for compound interest the compound interest is equal to eighteen thousand three hundred seven point seventy two and the future value or maturity value is sixty one thousand three hundred seven point seventy two okay now, let's proceed sa activity 2.2 number 2. Find the compound interest and present value 
if f is equal to 105,000 with a rate, uh, palitan ko to ng 3. 3.5% is compounded quarterly for 3 years. So, ang hanapin natin is compound interest and present value. Ano ba yung mga given? So, ang future value is 105,000 pesos. And then, ang rate naman is 3.5%. Then, mag-move tayo ng 2 places to the left, magiging 0.035. And then, ang N naman natin, quarterly, so that would be equal to 4 naman dito. Tapos, ang time is equal to 3 years. Ano ba yung ating formula for present value? Ang present value formula is P equals F over I plus R over N raised to the power of N times T. By substitution, the future value is 105,000 over 1 plus ang rate is 0 0.035 over ang N naman is 4 raised to the power of ang N is 4 times ang T is 3. Nasundan ninyo? Okay, so 105,000 pesos, solve na natin ito, 0 0.035 divided by 4 is equal to, ayan, tapos i-add natin sa 1, that is equal to 1.00875, 4 times 3 is equal to 12, then divide natin, raised to the power of, 12 na ito, direction nyo na. So, that is 1.11 and many more. Then, pindutin natin yung AC. 105,000, divide natin sa answer kanina. That is equal to 94,577.26 by rounding to the nearest hundreds pesos. So, this is the present value. Okay, ngayon, para naman makuha yung compound interest, that is, I sub C is equal to future value minus the present value, ba? By substitution, 105,000 minus ang present value natin is 94,577.26. So, that would be equal to 10,422. 0.74 pesos. Okay, nasundan ninyo mga anak. Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung activity 2.3, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin para mapanood ninyo. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!